Hey everyone, this is Dr. Retro and in this video I want to show you my mask toy collection. As you know I'm a big retro collector and a retro gaming fan, but retro gaming is not my only collection. This is my mask toy collection, a toy series from the 80s and 90s made by Kenner. So this is the complete European set, it contains every toy. I don't have every uh, loose figure on card, but I do have every vehicle complete. So let's run through it and I'll first give you an overview. Up there is the biggest box, Boulder Hill, and then in the cabinets you see all the other vehicles. So just a quick overview here, and then we'll get in closer. So, let's start top left with Boulder Hill. This is the main base of the series, this is where um, yeah, the main characters live or uh, work from. That's how I should say it. So then below that we see the first four figures, Iguana, Condor, Pit Stop Catapult, Rhino and behind there is Billboard Blast. The figure you see here on display is uh, Rhino, it's one of the most characteristical uh, toys from the series. It's a big truck, uh, comes with uh, two small, one smaller vehicle, the big truck, a bomb, etc. It's one of the coolest vehicles in my opinion. Then one step lower we find Manta, Raven, Gator and Thunderhawk. The one you see here on the left is Raven and this one is Thunderhawk. Also a very, very iconic toy. Uh, has the main character in it, Matt Tracker. And uh, yeah, this is next to Rhino, Manta and Switchblade, one of the most famous uh, items from the series. Then you see Jackhammer, Meteor, Goliath and the Collector. And the toy you see over here is Jackhammer. The thing is, Moss comes in different series. You have the first series, which has the most famous toys. And then in the later series, uh, they had a racing theme, for example, uh, where the collector came from. And the design of the toys sometimes became less, um, less innovative. Like Meteor is one of my least favorite toys because it kind of looks stupid. The, the jet plane or the, the rocket ship is really cool, but the transformations are really mediocre. So there we have Stinger, Firecracker and Wildcat and Razorback. Uh, the one you see over here is Stinger. Then the lowest step of this side you see three books, mask books. Then we have Firefly, Afterburner, Hurricane and Buzzard. And the two toys on display are Firefly, it's a dune buggy and a uh, Hurricane, which is I believe a Chevy. I'm not good at uh, car, car uh, brands, etc. So up here you have two uh, carded items. Rescue Mission, it's uh, Bruce Sato with some extra items. Uh, that was a standalone set. I don't have all of those, by the way. Still looking for a lot of them. And this, uh, to the right you see Matt Tracker and Miles Mayhem, the two main protagonists, the main good guy and the main bad guy. And, um, well, I'm trying to get those complete, but those are, well, not really hard to find, but finding them in good condition for a good price can be quite tough. Then Switchblade, which is the main vehicle of the bad guys, Venom. Uh, this guy you see here on the most right, that's Miles Mayhem, he's also in this set. It's a plane that turns into a helicopter. Then we have one non-mask item. This is actually a G.I. Joe item, but it is Matt Tracker from Mask. It's um, Advanced Vehicle Specialist Matt Tracker. It's a limited edition for G.I. Joe. So over here you see Laser Command in the back, which is the rarest mask uh, vehicle. This one came out last, didn't get an appearance in the series. Sold kind of bad, so that's why it became rare. Over here we have T-Bob and Scott Tracker, which is the son of Matt Tracker. Usually this one is on card, like the ones you saw on top, but this is a rare boxed version, which is uh, really nice to have in my collection. On the side here there's some mask, paraphernalia, fingerprint and coat kit, and there on the left we see a stencil set. This is Stiletto. It's uh, from the Split Second series that had a character and their split, splitting image or spitting image. And that's basically the same character with mask, but then in uh, in only one color. This is one of the rarest of that series. And same goes for Skybolt, which is uh, the last one I needed to complete the set. Got that a couple weeks back, so now I finally have a complete set. When we 
go one stage lower, we see Piranha, Bullet, Vampire, Outlaw, and Wolf Beast. And the two you see on display here are Piranha and Vampire. Vampire is one of the first ones I had as a kid. Uh, from this whole series, I think I had about six or seven as a kid. And now in total, I have... Uh, I actually don't know, I should count. I think, I think uh, it's about 38, not really sure. Then Slingshot, Bulldoze, Jackal and Dynamo. And on the lowest floor here, on the left you see a bunch of comics, Moss comics. Then the top left is actually uh, the only two things that um, are uh, in common for both my collections because these are the Mask video games. So they could be in my video game collection and in my Mask collection. Then you see Detonator which is also on display here. That one is Vandal, Fire Force, Volcano. And the thing above Volcano is, um, uh, how do you call those, a viewer. One of those 3D viewers, view master, that's the word I was looking for. So let's give you a final overview and of the collection. So if you have any questions about this stuff, feel free to ask me. Still looking for some stuff myself, some small items to complete some sets. For instance, I'm missing a bomb here, uh, a mask there. But pretty much, I think 90% of these are all 100% complete, except for the inlay sometimes. So this is my mask collection, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Be sure to check out my channel and like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash drretromd. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.